many journalists have categorized my district as being the sixth poorest district in the entire state of California. And so when it comes down to this issue around homelessness, it's real in my community. I want to pause a moment again, thank uh, Mr. Chairman Chu for his leadership and bringing us all together, and also to our speaker who's supporting um, these particular efforts. They go a long way in terms of the conversation um, in Sacramento to making sure that, one, Democrats um, stay uh, true, um, stay focused on this housing crisis um, here in California. Um, the lack of affordable housing is very real in my district. Um, only 51% of people in the 64th district own their own home. We talked about, and you heard the statistics, 47,000 people in Los Angeles County who live on the streets of Los Angeles County. That's why it was important, one, to pass Measure H, um, not only for the county, but also for the city of Los Angeles to pass it in November as well. It's important that we um, continue to raise our voice in the state legislature, because it's not enough for the city and the county to pass measures um, to address homelessness, but the state must step up in a large way and also let their voices be heard in this particular area. Um, homelessness is certainly significant in the state of California, um, and there is no doubt that there is a strong correlation between um, the affordable housing and homelessness. Let me pause by simply saying um, a few weeks ago was my um, one year anniversary where I spent the night um, with homeless individuals in Watts where I was born and raised. Um, that made a year ago prior where I spent the night in Wilmington. Two individuals who are referenced, and, and as I close, um, one had a bachelor's degree um, in social work and a double master's degree. She lost her job, she lost her house, she lost her car that she slept in, and then she winded up in the back alleys of Wilmington. We helped her. Uh, pick herself up, paid for a life scan, her drug testing, and now she's in Arizona, and she just moved into her first apartment. Last week, a couple of weeks ago, I met Dr. Green. Dr. Green is a 15-year Navy veteran who served this country in the United States Navy. He has a PhD in physics. He spent some time in prison. He spent time in three mental institutions, and his home is the streets of Watts, where his elements, his cover is the elements that he lived under. His refrigerator is the food that he finds in the trash cans. That's his reality. He deserves, as well as many others deserve who are homeless, they deserve housing that is affordable. They deserve wraparound services that they can get their lives together by. And so this fight is real. That's the reason why I'm here. That's the reason why I'm supporting my chairman. That's the reason why the Democratic Caucus has taken this issue up to be one of our priorities. And thank each and every one of you for being here to let your voices be heard as well.